Hey everyone, for animation projects, I typically use some different software like Moho or Cartoon Animator 4 or Blender. And I was playing around with DaVinci Resolve and I gotta tell you, for backgrounds and for some other things, and compositing, DaVinci Resolve is pretty cool when it comes to animation. I'm gonna show you what it'll do right now. So right now I just have a blank project. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fusion composition drag it onto the timeline here. I'm in the edit page. If you need to get there, hit the shift and number four button. I'm going to right click on that composition and I'm going to change the clip duration. I'm going to say 15 seconds. All right. I want to go to the fusion page. All right. In fusion, I want to go up here to the fusion menu and say import PSD. And I had a Photoshop file here. Let me find it. So it's this one right here. So basically Resolve is going to bring in each layer of the Photoshop file right here into Resolve. And there's kind of the composite image. There's a number of different layers here and I can turn them off or on here. Um, I did make a video on kind of how to manipulate these layers, but in this one, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D scene with these layers and how to make some parallax in your scene. So it looks like you're kind of moving around in 3D space. And so what we want to do is delete all of these merge nodes in here. So I just have the layers and next I want to bring in some planes here. So I have a 3D plane here. I'm going to just copy that and paste it a bunch of times just to get enough copies to do what I need to do here. All right, now I'm gonna plug in these images into each of these planes here. And I'm just taking them into the background input here. Next, what I wanna do is I'm gonna make a 3D merge and then I'm gonna import all of these nodes into that 3D merge. Let's kind of look at both these screens here. So I have something like this in 3D space, then everything's kind of all mixed together there. So I'm gonna start separating those here in a second. I wanna add a 3D camera though. Go ahead and put that in there. And I'm gonna need a render. So put my output from that merge into the render, and then that can go to the media out. And under this render, if you have a graphics card, you're gonna to wanna to select your OpenGL render, whichever card you have. So software, if you don't have a good card, go ahead and use the software render if your CPU is really good. With this camera, I'm gonna need to pull it back a ways. Let's just see what that looks like. So we're just looking at that background now. So in 3D space, all right, so we'll start here. So what I need to do now is kind of separate depth wise. Each of these layers is a different depth uh, from this background and I will start with the background actually and if we select the image plane connected to it we're gonna have this transform setting here and Z is really what we want to deal with here so if we want to raise it up it's gonna go forward and negative is gonna move way back okay so that's actually I grabbed the wrong one that is the midground let's take a look and see what I'm looking at here so I have the Sun here's the background here so I'm gonna move it way back in space and let's look and see what's going on with that render. You can see we can't even really see it anymore. It's so small. So we have a scale setting here and we can go all the way up. I'm gonna actually make that about eight. Just make it extra large here and I can bring it back even more. Kind of push it way back into the scene there. Somewhere around there. And then I want to do that for each of these layers and I'm not going to have you guys watch me kind of manipulate each of the layers. I'm going to do it fast motion here so you can see me create this 3D scene with depth. So I need to select each of these layers and I want to change the Z settings so where it's spaced out. So I'm going to do that right now. And so the layers that are further back towards the background are going to need to be large, um, not quite eight, but they need to be kind of starting at eight and going all the way down and the ones in the foreground can be smaller. You can actually make them smaller than one if you have them really close to the camera, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do that right now.
All right, so I wanna do some additional things to kind of create some effects in the scene. So with this background, so I have the sun here, I'm gonna add a couple notes to this. All right, with the sun selected, I'm gonna hit shift space bar and I wanna add a glow. You can see what that did. And I wanna go ahead and hit shift space bar again. I'm gonna add a soft glow this time. All right, so that's looking pretty good. I could also select this and change this color if I'd like. I'm not gonna do that right this second. I think I am gonna lower that down just a little bit. And with this background, I'm gonna have that selected. Hit shift space bar, I'm gonna add a soft glow to that background as well. And that is way too much gain. So I can really impact the sky and I can animate that over time if I wanted to, which is really awesome. So I could really simulate a sunset here. Okay, so next what I wanna do is I wanna mess with my camera a little bit here. So you can see my camera is placed right here. This is my camera shot. Uh, that's what's gonna show up after the render. So if I take this and I move this camera around, we get some nice parallax effect. Uh, I've got an issue there because I run out of kind of real estate there on both sides. So something I can do is just extend my scene a bit. And so if I want to look at these foreground elements, I can make a copy of that. And to do that, just make a copy of your image plane here and I'll paste it. I can use the same image here and we'll go to the transform and under rotation, the Y, I'm going to select 180. And then let's move that over. You can see it better here. Plug it into the 3D here so I can see them both. Let's go ahead and select that plane there. I'm gonna slide it over so it kind of meets there at the center. That's close enough. So now let me look at my merge here. Actually, let's throw the media out up here. Now when I move my camera, I've got more scene to work with. And so I can keep manipulating these elements until I get them the way I want them. And so if I wanna move that one over, I can move that over a little bit. That way I've got some more real estate over here to the right. And like I said, you can keep duplicating these and extending them by creating those additional planes on the edges. You can move these elements up and down to fill in space here as well. And so we can animate these clouds going across there and do some different things. So uh, that's the basic idea. And like I said, you can do add different effects to these nodes and create your scene in there the way you want it with any effects that you want. So I think Resolve using the studio version or the free version are great options to basically uh, let you create some 2D animation kind of in 3D space. So to speed up your animation techniques here in Resolve, it's really simple to do. So if you have any questions with this technique, go ahead and post them in the comments below. If you like this video, it was helpful for you, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching again today, guys. Take care.